Many of us are well aware of the trials and tribulations required to obtain the elusive dragon beyond. Easily unlockable by reaching VIP 12, but let's be honest, most of us don't got time for that. So if you're leaning towards the free-to-play way of acquiring them, you're going to need to summon 1100 dragons from advanced and limited summons during a dragon hunting journey event. And while these eggs are obtainable through many unorthodox methods, I think we'd prefer a way to just farm them. Luckily, the Lost Valley will come in clutch because this is a solid way to transform your diamonds into summons. Depending on how many diamonds you want to spend, there's a pretty large range of challenge tickets that you can purchase, so let's see how many we can get with 150. The summons drop in both the Twilight Realm and the Sacred Ruins, but I've already finished all of my Halidome pieces, so we're going to be looking at the Twilight Realm. They do drop on every single floor, but we're going to be going ahead and doing floor 15. And just to make sure we don't mess up the count, we started with 37. Even though we can challenge this with 10 repetitions at a time, it's still going to take a while, so without wasting too much time, let's just jump into it. From our first victory, we got three summons. Not a bad start, but let's go ahead and continue. Our second times 10 comes with another 3, so now we're looking at 6. This boss in general is also just really easy to kill, so luckily it doesn't take that much time. This time 10 was a little less lucky, only netting us 1 summon stone. That times 10 got us 2, and 2, so using 50 tickets has gotten us 11 summons so far. That's not a bad ratio, 1 summon per 5 tickets. Hopefully we get a little bit more lucky, and let's go ahead and knock out these last 100. 1. Unbelievably, we got 6 gold summon stones this run, so that means if RNG was really in your favor, you could probably get an egg for every single run. But the show must go on, we got 80 tickets left. 2 for that run. 2 again. Another 2. We are now 2 thirds of the way done, and officially down to our last 50 tickets. We do have an extra 5 just because of some shenanigans in the beginning, but that runs netting us another 2. Looks like a lot of 2s, seems like the drop rate is about 20%. 5, I love to see that. That's just amazing, I wish you could get drops like that every time. Kind of makes you feel bad for some of the times whenever you only get 1 or 2. So far the highest we've seen is 6, who knows how high someone else may have seen it, but this one was 3. We're down to our last 20 tickets, so here's the second to last run and we'll see how much progress we made. That's a 2. And the last time's 10. Let's see how many we get from this one. Three. Not bad at all. Okay, let's go ahead and see how many eggs we actually got from that. Not to mention all of the other things we got, too. So we started at 37, and now we have 76. That's 39 summons. 39 gold summoning stones from using 150 tickets. Don't forget these tickets increase in price the more you buy, so saving might actually be a little bit more efficient. And there you go folks, that's how many summoning eggs you're going to get from 150 Lost Valley tickets. Thanks so much for watching this, I hope it was helpful. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, but other than that y'all, that's going to do it for me today and I'll see y'all later, bye.